Oh no. Okay. Yeah, how's it feel? It sucks. Oh, it's lunchtime oh, it's too! Lunch this time. is critical! Yeah. What's up everybody? This is critical. You bitch! <laughs> Get away from her! <laughs> you find Vera and Polly at their table, deep in conversation. Oh, I had an idea for her. <clears throat> was it? Oh. Alright. Business idea. Oh, People gosh. pay a monthly <laughs> subscription to prevent me from drugging their food. <laughs> Business idea? People pay me a monthly subscription to put drugs in their food. <laughs> Business idea. Price out the cafeteria's current food supplier by selling plastic food. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Business idea. No, nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Sold. Just nipples? Yeah! Okay. Wait, wait! Business idea! Use clever marketing and food science to create the perfect new diet craze and sell it for an insane profit! That's... actually a really good idea. Better than nipples? Yes. We just need to figure out what our new diet product will be. Alright, <laughs> tapeworms. They're gluten-free, dairy-free, 100% organic, and you can't get them- f you can get them for free from sick cows. Meth. It's what's for lunch. <laughs> Gosh. I feel like... meth. Oh yeah! You know, I was just complaining the other day that I made way more meth than I can ever do myself! <laughs> <laughs> the profit margin will be incredible. The problem is the name. Meth has a really terrible reputation. You need to rebrand. You mean come up with a new name? Like Skinny Fun Powder, <laughs> or probably not meth? <laughs> yes, except not either of those. Oh, oh, I know! I've got the perfect name! Don't Please. say. Nipples! <laughs> she stole my joke! Kill me. But it turns out Nipples is the perfect name for a drug you want to sell to high school students. <laughs> Polly makes a killing, and drug dealing turns into a very romantic bonding experience for the both the two of you. Fuck yeah. you! Stay Heck away yeah. from my wow. ghost girl! <laughs> He's going after her, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm so upset. <laughs> what even are you? I still don't know. Unclear! Oh, that's the coven. Oh, they don't like me! <laughs> <laughs> this sucks! Just warning you, you know. Yeah, no thanks. I didn't recognize her, but you you right. I guess I'll go for the genocidal mermaid. No! That's yeah, mine. fuck off. Because my ghost got stolen! <laughs> no so sooner have you sat down at Damien Miranda's table than a haunting melody fills the air. Oh, right, I'm driving. <laughs> it's a melody of cold northern peaks, of cloying sweetness, of a supple bovine treat, the song of... The Ice Cream Wizard! He's here! He's here! I'm gonna eat so much ice cream and then puke on someone I don't like! <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, the ice cream wizard only comes but once per solstice and during the hour of the ascendant pancake. <laughs> you see an old dude in a floppy blue hat pushing a refrigerated <laughs> cart with this shit magic painted on the side. <laughs> Ugh, so many great options to choose. Should I get a magma bar, brain destroyer, chocolate boomstick? What about fear of death, a frozen cobra, Berserker Berry Blitz! The wizard's frozen treats invariably turn me into a frog for some reason. Perhaps I simply have not tried the right one yet. But which to try? If only someone would suggest a solution to which truly is the most <laughs> difficult problem I have ever <laughs> Ladies, faced. Ladies, you better buckle up. <laughs> Sugar Blast and <laughs> Prince Lips? Okay, that feels a little... Oh, God! <laughs> That's such a good option! <laughs> this That's seems like a bad option. idea, though. Here's the thing, though. I've already committed to stealing Owen's girl, so we Fuck doing you. it. But of course, I've always, uh, I, I always have to find a princess, a prince to kiss me, out of being a frog. But why not cut out the middleman? Prince lips? Gross. I've already already got a pair of those attached to my <laughs> face. Great. What? Where? Uh, here, where my mouth is. Wait, Damien, your prince? But you <laughs> oh. hide it so well. Oh no. Gee, thanks. But Miranda's not paying attention. She's already traded the ice cream wizard several gold ingots for a pair <laughs> of sugar blasted prince lips. They use ingots? <laughs> oh my, I can taste the enchantment already. 
Miranda finishes the prince lips in three graphic smooches. <laughs> Ew. Afterwards, her lips are pretty cold, and she invites you to help warm them up. Yeah, I've got Ooh. hand warmers. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, it's fine. Fuck. See, Shuri you. would have actually warmed them up. Oh, whoops. Mm, that's Starfire cool. would have actually warmed them yeah, up. Yeah, Caleb. Uh... What are you well, saying, black people? Of course, I'm gonna get stuck with the coven. It's what you could go to Garfield. <laughs> the deal's more love. You know what? Fuck it. I'm hanging out with the coven. Screw you guys. Wow. You're enjoying your meal in peace when you hear the unmistakable sound of three clearing throats. Ahem. 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 Yes, hello, you. As you know, it's customary for our benevolent witch coven to have as an ally a maleficent creature of some sort. And since Liam has apparently decided he's too cool <laughs> for us now, I mean because of your incredible resume and good looks, we've decided to accept you on your trial uh, on a trial basis as our supernatural companion for one adventure. Adventure not to exceed three episodes or eclipses the main <laughs> plot of the arc. As a consideration for your willing participation, we'll even allow you your choice of adventure. Three episodes you can knock out one of these adventures by the end of lunch and it actually sounds like fun the kevin girls give you two options stop the crime ghost who's been taking over children's bodies and <laughs> using them to rob banks you have a never before seen plan take wow. on the greatest villain of all time incoming call oh my gosh <laughs> Both Income so inequality. <laughs> they are both very, very good. Oh, uh, I want to know what happens to the ghost that, like, what's my never before seen plan? Like, I want to go through this. Do it. Uh, you have the power. You put the stop to the crime ghost crime in the only way you know how. With fake beards. It's so obvious what? now that you say it. <laughs> It's oh working. my gosh. Now, now that all the children have fake beards, the crime ghost can't even tell their children. He's got no one to possess. Yep, that was totally your plan. You definitely didn't just start slapping beards on kids and hope for the best. <laughs> Excellent. The day is saved. Oh, once again, thank you for the coven of our faithful sidekick, Starfire. <laughs> What's that? You wanted to know about payment? We're sorry. The contract clearly states that this is an unpaid internship. <laughs> Great. At Ooh. least you get gained plus four creativity for your How lateral thinking. I like this. Yeah, that's that's some good, some goodness. Not bad. Oh, yay. No. <laughs> As you approach your chosen table, you see Liam carefully framing his artfully arranged jelly dessert for a transcendent food pick. When? Eh, uh, food. Pick! Ride those picks to victory! What? What does it even mean? When I say food, you say pick! Food! Pick! No. <laughs> food! Pick! Stop. <laughs> Two, four, picks, eight! Food do we <laughs> appreciate! Food picks! Food picks! Goo! Cease this incessant chanting this instant. What? But... I'm trying to help you take the best food pick. <laughs> We've been trying to take this food pick for like 20 minutes now. You gotta snap a pick so you can eat your tasty food. I don't eat, Scott. I only order this food so I can take pictures of it. And you're not helping. I know, I know. My cheerleading just isn't good enough. What I need is a cheer partner to take me to the next level. No, what you need is a swift kick in the... Oh, but it's too late. Scott's already chosen you as his cheer partner. Now it's up to you what the two of you will do. We've got to pick Liam up and toss him in the air. It's the only way to really amp him up. Liam's food picks are art, so we got to use art to cheer him on. The quiet art of mime. Yeah, no, we're throwing him in the air. <laughs> oh, I get it! Amp him up! Like where the sky is! Let's do it! <laughs> uh -oh. What? No, that's a horrible... Up you go, little buddy! Reach for the stars! Okay, I'm actually getting some very artistic angles on my food from up here, <laughs> but this is still not okay. Oh, Liam, always being sarcastic. He loves it. Wait, you chose now to finally start understanding what sarcasm is? I'm not being sarcastic. You can't fool me, Liam. I know everything you say means the opposite of what I think it means. <laughs> <He's so dumb. laughs> William eventually gets Scott to put him down by saying he loves being thrown in the air. 
Scott still somehow believes he did the right thing and gives you the most intimate fist bump. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> wow. Here we go. It's my time. Damn it. No, stop. No. <laughs> no. Great. I Your should, time. I shouldn't have said anything. Wow, we're, we're halfway, guys. Feels like we just started. <laughs> All right, where to this time? Let's see, what have I not been? Library, auditorium, what do I need? Smart spell, no scare today. Go to the auditorium. Ooh. That day, while rehearsing for class, uh, the class play, you do a terrific job at acting. You act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses to be exact. Damn, roses aren't a valid currency <laughs> or stat in this game. <laughs> anyway, you check your converter app and see that this could translate into something a bit more useful. Hmm. It seems seven roses equals two creativity points. Sweet. You gain two creativity. So balanced, Alex. On your way out, you spot Polly still wearing the lab coat she stole from that human oh party the other night. <laughs> she takes it off and throws it at you to get your attention. Yo, yo, yo! That human party convinced me I'm gonna be a scientist. But not just any kind. A party scientist. Yes! What's a party scientist, you ask? Why, just a scientist who's dedicated to discovering the secret to the raddest party. Through a series of extremely scientific experiments, I aim to discover what exactly makes a party good. So I can distill whatever it is into a vial and drink it. <laughs> Or, you know, just have really dope parties all the time. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to a bar mitzvah tonight, and I need your scientific advice. What can we do to push this party over the edge? <laughs> the electric slide, but with an act with actual electricity <laughs> or chemistry. That's no, just, no, it's, just it's chemistry. Chemistry. <laughs> Later that night. <laughs> Look at him dance! <laughs> I don't know why I never thought of this before. It's just basic science. Lightning gives life to a Frankenstein. A Frankenstein is stitched together mass of sexy flailing limbs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also what a party is. Lightning is the life of the party. Wow. What's that? You want to know who the bar mitzvah boy is? I don't know. I don't know any of these kids. <laughs> <laughs> Crashing bar mitzvahs, the height of party culture. You have so much fun, you forget to tell Polly uh, she should have said Frankenstein's a monster. <laughs> you gain two fun and one charm. Oh. Oh, right, I'm last. Yeah. Fuck me. Where have I not gone yet? I haven't gone to class. That's because you're not a nerd. I'm not very smart. Maybe I should go to class. I mean, that does add up, actually. <laughs> that day, the teacher is just tired of teaching. So she re recurs? To the class technique of not going, not giving a shit and putting on some kind of historical TV show for you to watch. What you don't expect is that it's super effective. <laughs> God bless the golden era of television. The TV show is compelling thanks to the ridiculous amount of nudity and bloodshed. But at the same time, you actually learn a lot about history. You gain two smarts. Hey, there you go. You spot Miranda and Scott in the vicinity. It seems like the perfect opportunity to test your new blanket. Oh, fuck yes. yes. You wear it as if, as if you were a goofy ghost and approach, approach them with a spooky boo while Miranda is explaining something to Scott. Oh, and oh, that's why those shape. treacherous okay. air people and the are the absolute worst and also most likely to the, be uh, p uh, most likely Nailed tied it. to the disappearance of Mars Argo. Oh, too soon. That, yeah. What? That's a fucking Mars Argo reference. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, what's this? A ghost? Perhaps a foreign exchange student? What are you talking about? Oh, gasp! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see you there! So ghostly! Oh, you guys are joking, right? This is clearly just Vicky wearing a blanket with eye holes cut in it. Jealousy is a powerful drug, Liam. Do not become addicted. Yeah, Liam. You don't see anyone saying, oh, Liam is really just Vicky wearing a blanket with eye holes cut in it. Exactly, Liam. Even despite the many times we suspected it was so. What? Oh, sorry. Little ghost. Uh, sorry, little ghost. We were ignoring you. you. Nailed it, dude. That was so perfect. Man. That's true. Weird commas. Tell us, do you have any cool ghost powers? Oh, yes, divulge, divulge. His face is so good right now. 
<laughs> basic werewolf ghost, voice? Yeah. <laughs> basic ghost knowledge. Ghost's main power is levitating stuff. Ultimate ghost prank. Haunt someone into despair. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you spot so a victim for your prank. The coven. You oh. start running in their direction while screaming your best BOO to date. Oh, they're gonna fuck you up. <gasps> What's this? Maybe it's a minion of Queen Nem... Nehelimnia. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Rumors say she's preparing to be the big bad for next season. Stop booing at us. It's hard enough as it as is to save the world on a daily basis. We don't need people here undermining our moral. Stop booing. This school is unbelievable. Ah. They go running, looking for a place to recover from all the booing and undermining. Oh no! What have we done? We made them miserable by forcing our little ghost friend to haunt them with its ghost powers. You do realize she just ran at them when booing, right? <laughs> the only thing I realize is that too much ghost power in our hands has made us evil. <laughs> We've got no time to lose! We need to start living lives of good deeds so we can be forgiven for this! You're right, Scott. Maybe in 10 or 20 years, we can be redeemed for this moment of weakness. <laughs> At least you've helped led Miranda and Scott onto a path of goodness? Nah, this has been a failure for sure. You lose two smarts and one fun. I just got those two smarts. <laughs> wow. Should have thought of that before. <laughs> what is, what is this? this? What? It's a dramatization. It's a dramatization. <laughs> That day you spent some time in the library's PCs uh, mining some bitcoins. Oh my Great god. This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms to the, the rise of cryptocurrency. But the guess that nobody actually has a fucking idea how it really works. Anyway, you gave two bitcoins, which is equal to two million dollars. Which unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars, so you get two money. God damn it. <laughs> Great. You notice Polly bent over her, her right, phone. Right. While Miranda tries to peek over her shoulder. Something really interesting must be going on Polly's phone. When you get closer, though, it sees that Polly's just on Tinder again, swiping right on everybody. Great. <laughs> Good job, Jake. Miranda seems uh, entranced, though, and a little worried. What? What did you say this is called again? Tinder. And it's an app for finding true love? Um... Sure. <laughs> but but I never knew. I spent countless hours going to royal balls and kissing frogs and pretending to be a mag in a magical slumber. When I could have simply been using this app? I mostly use it for collecting dick pics. God <laughs> bless her. What are these dick pics? Tokens of affection? Oh, alas, to be so far behind in my quest for love. I am 19 years old, practically an old maid, and only now learning of this. Oh, how will I ever make up for lost time? Don't worry, I'll coach you in the mysterious ways of Tinder. You'll have a whole harem in no time. You still don't have Tinder? Why should you worry having Tinder when you can actually own Tinder? <laughs> Why don't you just buy the entire company? Oh, fuck. I wanted to just own Tinder. It's also the girl you want, right? She's mine. <laughs> no, not that one. The other one. Well, well, I both I, mine. I, I, whoa, you could have one. <laughs> Probably I'm going to have neither at this rate. <laughs> I'm doing very poorly. I think we all are. I also have a corpse. Ah, uh, yes, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> I would simply purchase the app and, and require all of its most attractive heroic users to date me. It's exactly how my father met my mother, except with the Indian Ocean instead of Tinder. It's <laughs> brilliant. Damn! <laughs> I love her father. Polly, I will give you $230 million for Tinder. <laughs> it's not a good deal. Oh, damn. I mean, okay, but like, I don't actually own the company? What do you mean? I thought you said you had Tinder. Yeah, on my phone. I have a copy of the app. I don't own any successful internet startups. Oh, yes. I had forgotten you were poor. I'm so sorry. Oh. 
<laughs> it's cool. <laughs> She's well, winking. anyway, I'm off to buy Tinder now. Goodbye. Have fun? Now might be a good time to uninstall Tinder from your phone. Meanwhile, you gain two creativity and one smart. Fuck yeah! Get out of here. Your stats are insane. Oh, oh God, charm. <laughs> That's <laughs> probably going to be important for a date, huh? Oh, outdoors, I'll go rave. Oh my gosh. There, look at that dab, dude. That day during <laughs> recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. That's the third You're rave we You're talking to had. one, the small, magical Latino cat, when he tells you that you won't ever be as fun as Bob the scary clown. You accept the challenge. You go straight to Bob, stab him several times, <laughs> oh open his gosh. bleeding chest, and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. Holy I hope that works. Wait. What are you? Really? Does that mean that he's Do you something think that's that does how that? this works? Well, it is. You gain two fun from poor Bob. What the heck is he? <laughs> Nailed it! A cannibal, evidently. <laughs> While doing all that, you've been carrying your newly acquired corpse as if it was a totally normal thing to do. Oh my god. Yes! Your cor corpse voice! <laughs> but some people seem to think otherwise. Oh no, it's the four most Ooh. hateful people in school. Why are you carrying a corpse, idiot? What shameful display of distaste. Haha, <laughs> yeah, what a noob. Carrying around corpses is for noobs. <laughs> oh, a corpse! I love corpses! Also, I'm super drunk! That sounds about right for <laughs> Okay, the three most hateful people in school and Polly. <laughs> I was about to say. As the school's social elite, we disapprove of this. I'm the head of the hierarchy, and I can't condone such stupidity under our domain. I'm the taste of the hierarchy, and I don't appreciate such per... Pure what? Pure it's pure isle. Pure isle. Yeah. Use of a corpse. Also, lesser known fact about corpses: they smell. <laughs> I'm the fists of the hierarchy, and I want to punch you because punching people's what I do. I like this guy. <laughs> I'm Polly. Also, I'm like super <laughs> drunk. So whatever Vera says. Yikes! Despite your disregard for stupid social conventions and school hierarchies, you'll feel the urge to please them. Maybe it's because that's what this game is about. <laughs> When you bought this corpse, they totally told you it was a fashion accessory and that when they were absolutely not just trying to dispose of a body. But now you're starting to feel like they might have fooled you. No time to lose. How can you convince them the corpse is actually a very hot fashion accessory? Trivia fact about fashion accessories, most of them are worn on your head. Quick, Ooh. put the corpse on your head. Shallow social creatures respond only to status. Rip the brand logo off the high-end accessory you own and put it on the corpse. <laughs> Easily the wrong choice. Put it on your head. Wow. So Swiftly, smart, apparently. you gather the corpse and place it on your head. The answer is always to put it on your head, my dudes. <laughs> your classmates remain silent looking at you. The tension is great. You do your best to look serious and fashionable. Hmm. I think what Stefan 2 is trying to tell us is that this corpse is a hot fashion accessory. See? She got it. Yes, yes, indeed. The most fashion accessories are worn on your head. Hats, glasses, earrings, hats. <laughs> I think it's cool while he's wearing a corpse on his head, and he's still, like, really cool about it. God damn this guy. <laughs> Fuck! I'm, like, big time drunk. I oh. missed the rest of that line. <laughs> wow, wow. Can you go back? It up. I can't. Oh, it was Jake. It was Yeah, me. Jake told wow. it, Jake. Yeah, I pulled a Jake. <laughs> I mean, I did a bunch of super shrooms earlier, so I might be tripping. You're not tripping, Polly. Well, you are tripping. But also, Stefan 2 is, in fact, wearing a corpse on his head. I can't do that anymore. And you know what? <laughs> He's doing it in such a confident way. I hereby conclude that a corpse counts as a very hot fashion accessory. You don't want to try accessory. <laughs> and I can't do so many S's. Look at this. Look at what? It would Look at also this. be a pretty convenient way of disposing of the many corpses my ventures might or might not produce. <laughs> Maybe just do like every other. I don't yeah. know. It's a little ridiculous. I agree. Confidence is what really counts when deciding if something makes for a good accessory, even if that something is completely not hygienic or healthy. Still drunk! <laughs> and so all of them signed the decree that establishes a corpse as an acceptable fashion accessory, as high school social bureaucracy requires. Today's a bright day to have a corpse in your possession. I gained two charm and one smarts. Knew oh. I should have bought a corpse! You got oh. some charm? Suck it! <laughs> 